Okay, welcome back to this next chapter of Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest Mod Edition. Uh, in the last episode, we uh, worked our way through the Sabbat hideout, the Hallibrick Hotel, massacred uh, a whole pack of Sabbat, as they call them in this game, and uh, we made our way to the basement, and we're here about to confront Andre, the Simisi, again, or Shimisi, if you prefer. Um, yeah, so let's let's go see what he's got. I, it's never usually a very hard fight, but uh, we've got celerity, we've got blood shield, so I think we should be good. And I just want to point out, since we did do some spoilers last week about the next sort of uh, chapter of Clan Quest mod, there will be a lot more happening with uh, this location and this NPC. Although it's my hope that uh, Andre is actually the least interesting new or any any kind of uh, Sabat NPC that I introduced to the game. So anyways, let's let's see what he, what's up with him. I His cape stuck on his back. Blood, young Kenite. Very potent. Greater than our last meeting. I could smell it even over the flood of my fallen brethren. Doesn't that make you wonder? Wonder what? Um, yeah, so Andre is a really cool character, but he is a little dramatic and over the top. And uh, so, you know, I don't think every Sabat is quite so fucking balls to the wall, see me see crazy like like he is. Um, there's many paths of enlightenment that the Sabat follow. Uh, didn't I kill you already? It's time to. I'll, this time I'll finish the job. Puppet. The strength of your blood is all that saved you from yourself. Wretched, weak-minded mongrel. Mongrel blood is wasted in you. Wasted. Uh, what are you talking about? Miserable, ignorant gutter spawn. You are blind. The sarcophagus must be destroyed. What? What do you think is going to happen? I will do it myself if I must. And you, you will be purified. It is the blood that he is speaking through. The blood of all the pawns. It all must be purified. So he's like really speaking to the uh, Sabbat sort of philosophy or agenda that... All Canites that do not seek to destroy the Antediluvians are pawns of the Antediluvians. If you're not with us, you're against us sort of mentality. Very fascist. Um, wait, what's going to happen if the sarcophagus is opened? Alright, come on, motherfucker. Where's my blood shield? Stay back. Alright, now I'm ready. Fuck you up. Gets invincible for a second. See, he's already at like a third health. He's, he's not tough. Looks cool though. Look at that model. Looks awesome. Let's uh, let's blood heal while we're at it. What you got? What you got? You got nothing. That's right, just die, just die, 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 die. Blood heal, again. I don't need some ready for this. Maybe I do. <laughs> there we go. See, that wasn't so bad. And there's a new weapon here. Let's look. What do we got? Talmahare blade. The sword is forged by the Talmeare. Talmeara. I don't know. Pronunciation. A vanished sect of kindred that pur purportedly ventured into the land of the dead. It seems unnaturally light and causes aggravated damage. How's this compared to my bush hook? Uh, melee requirements is less, which is very good. Damage potential is lower. Lethality is lower. 
feet adjustment, lower base damage, lower. But I, I kind of think the melee requirement is like a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this because I realize since I'm Tremere, I can never get to 10 melee. My strength won't go higher than four. So we'll use this sword and if nothing else, it's cooler. But let's take a second and look around at this place. So the Simisi are all about the uh, discipline of vicissitude and it's flesh crafting and doing bizarre stuff with people's organs, flesh, bones, etc. And so you have all these interesting creations like this one up on the ceiling. I never really noticed before, but he's got like people mounted up on the ceiling. Inventory fall, huh? Why would it say that? I don't know, but uh, I need to get rid of some of these things. I don't really need a katana, I guess. It's probably not even the inventory it's talking about. Oh well. Um, let's see. But yeah, just a crazy looking place. This guy's just eviscerated. His guts are spilling out. You're supposed to really convey the horror of the Sabbat here. I don't know if they really succeeded, but it is pretty grisly, so. Okay. So, we killed the Sabbat, the entire Sabbat. Because that's how we roll, motherfucker. And, um, turns out it was across the street from the uh, Tremere Chantry. <laughs> I feel like they could have at least like put it at the end of the street. You know, there's like a whole area behind the, the hotel. That's... Be at peace, Kim. Oh yeah, shit. You stand Gotta talk to now. Ming Zhao. I forgot about this. So this is where she lays some truth on us. So let's see what she says. Um, really? Your agents at the Giovanni stronghold weren't so friendly. Indeed. The Chang brothers, my greatest agents, undone by the young soldier of LaCroix. It was obvious your path was greater than I or he had anticipated. Why did they try to kill me? They had orders to get the sarcophagus at all costs and to let no one get in the way. It was nothing personal. They had no way of knowing who you were. The only thing I don't understand about the story is that I don't know what she really stands to gain from having the sarcophagus. She has the key. Any kindred that want to open the sarcophagus still have to come to her. And unless she believes the myths, which I really don't believe that she does, there's no reason why she would really want the sarcophagus. She doesn't want to open it. She doesn't care. And it's actually working to her advantage for all these kindred to be fighting and killing each other over the uh, sarcophagus, so why not just leave it out there for them to continue to fight over? It's the only thing about this story that's ever really bugged me. That and Grout's, Grout's role in all of this, because he does say that he made a Faustian bargain, and I never quite understood exactly what he meant by that. Was he dealing with the Quajin directly, I wonder? Um, anyway, uh, you don't care that I killed them? It is not that I do not care. If their purpose was to make apparent to me the significance of your path, then their purpose was indeed served and they are at peace. I can harbor no ill will toward you, the victim. <laughs> you sound impressed. I am impressed, Kindred. That is why I've come to reveal to you the truth, so that you may see that you are not the fist of LaCroix, but the hand that will put the final events of this war into motion. <laughs> Um, so how did our paths come to converge here? I watch and wait for the time my path is meant to cross another. The how of it shall be more clear in a moment. No try anything fast. No need for alarm, kindred. I come as a friend. Is that so? Your foes all lie vanquished, kindred. I come to help. Be at peace. Trouble is nothing but yours to give. <laughs> you're right about that, and you're the one I plan on giving it to. I see. Well, I will waste no more of my time with you. I just thought you should know that the alliance between your prince and the Kuei Jin has come to an end. <laughs> so there was an alliance. We did have an arrangement, LaCroix and I. A mutually beneficial pact to drive the lesser factions from the city. So what happened? 
McCoy's zeal in recovering the Ankaran sarcophagus has been to the exclusion of many relationships, mine included. And I, like yourself, have been used by him in his desperate quest for power. <laughs> How did he use you? LaCroix feared Alistair Groud, the Malkavian Primogen, for the cursed insight of his bloodline was strong and brought him uncomfortably close to the truth about LaCroix's ambitions. And so? LaCroix saw an opportunity to rid himself of two problems, a hardened rebel leader and a problematic Primogen in one fell stroke. And as you can see, I was integral to his plan. What the hell? How did you... I don't understand. LaCroix convinced me that an alliance with the Camarilla could strengthen the position of the Quajin. And so with my help, your prince framed Lines Rodriguez for the murder of Alistair Brown. <laughs> There's something about the morph action there that triggers the combat sequence slash music. And it can fuck this game up. It's like a bug. It'll fuck this game up sometimes. <laughs> Glad I didn't do anything today. Um, so you were the one I saw at Grout's mansion. Yes. You were made to be the witness. For your political naivete put your word beyond reproach. No one would believe you devise such a story. LaCroix used you and once again turned a problem to his advantage. This is bullshit. Why are you really here, Ming Zhao? Hear these words, Kindred. The sarcophagus is sealed against the ages. Only the proper key will break this seal. That key now lies safely in Quajin hands. Your prince's prize cannot be had without it. Whatever, this is probably just another Quajin lie. I assure you that it is not. LaCroix is no longer of any use to us, and by extension neither are you. The vine of your destiny withers. Your bloodline ends with that of your puppet prince. Uh, we'll see who's the last one standing. Farewell, Kindred. Alright, so she's gonna peace out. So, the story unravels. Um, let's actually go to the Haven really quick. Just to, uh, just to see what's what. I think I'd probably have some emails on the computer, maybe something in the mail, so... Oh, excuse me. I wonder if you can talk to Strauss and tell him about the key. Let's try that. Uh, let's see. Email. One or unread. The end game from a friend. The position of your pieces is the key to the end game. Good to know. So let's. I just. I've never tried this. I don't know. Like it seems like it would make sense if I would like be like, hey, guess what, Master? The Kui uh, Jin have the key to all of this. Hello. How can I be of assistance? Do you have a few minutes to talk with me? Of course. I have a few questions. What is it you would like to know? Do, 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 do. What do you know about the Ankaran sarcophagus? No more than yourself. But I do know that LaCroix is much too focused on acquiring it. His obvious need for it reveals a weakness that his enemies mm. may one day exploit. Gee, you think? What do you think is inside of it? I do not know. Although I must admit that I sense a change in the night air, something subtle and not altogether pleasant. Perhaps the arrival of the sarcophagus is the harbinger of something more dreadful. <laughs> like what? I will say no more. Ah, I'm out of here. Hmm. Seems like if you're a loyal acolyte of the uh, Tremere, the first thing they'd want to do is go get that key for themselves. So that they may have the upper hand in this situation, but alas, there's only so many permutations of options that this game can sort of offer and explore with the players. Maybe that's another idea for like a future mod, uh, Tremere edition, where you go full Tremere, and you take control of the city or something like that. We're gonna nab this lady as soon as she goes around the corner. Hey, baby. Yeah, so normally there is a Sabbat ending in this game, and you can actually make friends with Andre earlier when we would have normally fought him. Instead, you can talk to him and be like, what's up? I want to join the Sabbat. But I, uh, I never thought that that 
really gave justice to the game. Like, there was no consequence to it. There was no... Uh, there's just nothing to it. You're just like, oh, hey, I want to join this play. He's like, cool, okay, great. And now the Sabbat controls the city. And... Uh, it, the Sabbat has such a much more rich, deep philosophy that... Uh, I actually took that out of the unofficial patch because I didn't think it did them justice, and hence, that's why we have the next chapter of CQM, which will allow you to properly join the Sabbat. Gee, you believe what happened the other night? I couldn't come into work on account I bought a tamale from a street vendor and got this food something terrible. What a lucky thing, too, because that food poisoning saved my life. <laughs> Must have been some tamale. Uh, that's one lucky bout to the runs. You're telling me. But if I had been there, those punks wouldn't have gotten past the front desk. There's two things I can't tolerate, and that's terrorists and tainted tamales. I hear that. I need to see LaCroix. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but it should be all right. <clears throat> Thank God Chunks is alive. This game just would not be the same. Okay, here we go. So Beckett's gone. LaCroix's still here. The Sabbat. Done. Another obstacle is removed. From the anime, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. Hmm. Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. Yeah. My victories you. in this city are in no small part due to you. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule this city side by side, you and I. Uh, I found out how to get the key. You found the key? Where? Who has it? Uh, Ming Xiao has it. Uh, let's see. She, t she also told me to tell you the alliance was off. Alliance? A Camarilla prince aligned with foreign devils. Preposterous. Preposterous. Don't you see through that trick? They've told you this lie, this impossible, staggering deception <laughs> in an attempt to skew your loyalties. He should not play poker. amongst our ranks. Um, the Nines is innocent. She took his shape. She killed Grout. Or no, let's do the, uh, let's see. You had to do it to bring the L.A. Anarchs under control. It was a difficult decision to make, but I only did it for the greater good. The Kuei Jin did not question my scheme, but I did it to bring all kindred under Camarilla government. And I did so only so that we could finally wipe out the Kuei Jin United. I would have done the same. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. The Kuei Jin have revealed their plot. <laughs> they want us to war against each other? Well, to that I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Together, <laughs> we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all. Damn straight. Do you really think the Anarchs will trust you? It's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of who they dislike more. <laughs> the Camarilla or the Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin killed their last leader and threatened all of our kind. I think they'd agree to an alliance. Uh, how do you expect them to agree to an alliance? Go to the last round immediately. Tell them the Kuei Jin have admitted to killing Kraut, and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Kuei Jin pose and wish to negotiate a pact. You will be my emissary for the Alliance, so naturally, you Gee. speak on behalf of the Camarilla. It's a lot of responsibility. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred depends on your success tonight. Well, that's all. Uh, no pressure. What's he, what's he have to say? It's critical. You see the Anarchs immediately. Okay. Alright, so. We'll talk to the Anarchs. There's a lot of dialogue in this, this part of the game. As the story begins to unfold. I wonder if they meant to like space it out more. Like have more quests and more points in the story. To sort of like let it uh, unfold at a little more of an even pace. Because it does sort of pick up it. 
uh, exponential pace at this point. And uh, anyways, we're about to talk to a familiar face here. And I should point out, well, I'll let this happen first. I'm like, do 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 do. Wait. Wait. Um, about the sarcophagus? So there was a, there's a bug here where sometimes if a pedestrian's walking down the, down the alley, for example, purple shirt dude that just went down that way, he'll get stuck on that pedestrian and the game will crash and, well, it won't crash, but it'll hold up and you'll just be st stuck there and you can't talk to Beckett and the game won't advance. And the first time I was playing this game, that actually happened to me. And interestingly enough, when I found out about the official patch, like, I had this idea that this would be the bug that I would fix. This would be my contribution back to the community of the game. And that's sort of what inspired me to start looking at Bloodline's body in the first place. So what a fortuitous bug it is. Um, what is it, Beckett? Don't open it. Whatever you do, do not open the Ankaran sarcophagus. But you said there was nothing to worry about. Well, despite what I said, if that sarcophagus is opened, it will be disaster. In what form, I cannot be sure. But after studying the evidence, I'm convinced now that it is better left undisturbed. <laughs> and anyone who pursue any other course is deserving of the consequences. Is it Antediluvian? Is it Gehenna? If Gehenna has begun, then we are all doomed, no matter what course of action we take. Thanks for the warning, Beckett. I thought you deserved a chance. Hmm. There's a good possibility we may not meet again. Goodbye, young one. Goodbye, Beckett. And he runs off into the night. We hear a wolf howl. Downtown LA, which is weird. Here's my chica. You are insatiable. Uh huh. Still, I can't thank you enough. Come here and collect your reward, hero. Give me that sweet stuff, baby. Nothing like free blood dolls. Okay, so. Let's, uh, let's make our way to the last round and talk to the Anarchs. So yeah, the other thing that doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense is like, how does Beckett actually know about the contents of the sarcophagus? He seems to have some insider information, but, uh, hmm, well, some things are better left unsaid. Okay, so... I actually haven't been back here since I accused Nines, but talk to Skelter. He's got some choice words for you. Let's let's see what Damsel has to say. You are so lucky this is Elysium, Cammy. I need to talk to Nines. The Prince wants an alliance with the Anarchs. Cool. An alliance with us? Huh. That's extreme. Well, I am source of amusement for you. <laughs> The blood hunt with Nines is off. Zhao killed Grout. She's a shapeshifter. We told him Nines didn't do it. That son of a... And that quaking bitch. If I ever get my hands on her, I'll tie her eyelashes to her ass hairs and pull her ass into a car to <laughs> Demons! Oh, whore! It's such a good insult. Uh, now you see why I need to talk to Nines. Where is he? I get it. Where's Nines? I need to see him tonight. Nines is... Uh, oh, I still don't know if I can tell him Nines is hiding out in Ripple Park. Nines is the alliance. Oh, that means we're gonna on the same side. Oh, my eyes. Bonnet. Griff Park. Thanks, Danzel. Alright, so... I think that's uh, enough for this episode, so... You know, we might actually get an even 40 episodes. We'll see how things play out. But uh, in any case, 
Hope you enjoyed watching this episode. If you liked it, press like or subscribe. And uh, if you really love me, follow me on Twitter. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.